I don't know what y'all's definition of failing is, but according to the United Nations, Alabama has the worst poverty in the entire developed world. Representatives for the UN said that the poverty in Alabama is like nothing they have ever seen in the developed world. Representatives from the UN basically said that Alabama is only considered a developed country because it's like a part of the United States, but if they were on their own, they would basically be considered an undeveloped country. They have the worst poverty in the entire developed world. The entire developed world. Out of every developed country on planet Earth. So, I don't know about y'all, but that's kind of what I would consider to be failing. And these are the states that are the most federally dependent. Look, I'll be honest, I feel bad for people in red states, and especially Alabama. Red states lag behind a lot of blue states in various aspects regarding quality of life, from education to healthcare to poverty rates. Across the board, red states more often than not have worse quality indicators, and that's really unfair to the people who live there. You know, I've long said one of the worst cons, but most effective ones in politics is the Republican Party's ability to pull the wool over the eyes of voters. There are a lot of people who are really voting against their best interest, especially in red state. And I feel bad, but also we should really think about how we talk about them. Because yeah, it's easy to roll your eyes at reports that really damn states like Alabama from outside authorities, but think about the consequences there. Think about the people who live there. And not all of them want that. And I would imagine a majority of them don't want that. And that gets into the broader conversation about how we talk about red states in general. You know, whenever something bad happens, say in Texas, you'll see a lot of liberals say, well, they should just secede. Think about the millions of people who live there who desperately want that state to improve. It's of no fault of their own that their leaders are terrible. People desperately try to vote them out, but they're outnumbered or worse, they're disenfranchised or they're subject to voter restrictions. You know, there's a very anti-democratic sentiment in the South. Don't want people of color to vote. They don't want women to vote. They don't want marginalized communities to vote. And they just generally don't want liberals to vote. It's never about authenticating votes or voters or identity or anything. It's about how they can implement harder and harder restrictions on the access to voting. And that's really unfair because these people desperately want a better life, but they're stuck there. And it's easy to just say, move. If you don't like it, move. You hear that a lot. That's something I think about a lot because I was somebody who had to move my state and I was very lucky to do so. It wasn't easy. It's very, very difficult for people to uproot and move to a different state. Say if someone doesn't like Alabama or Texas, they can't just easily move to California or New York. It's costly. And the consequence so often is severing all of your ties, cutting off ties with your friends and family, finding a new job, completely uprooting everything about your life and taking it to a new place in hopes of getting a better life. It shouldn't be what you have to do to achieve that. We need a much more equitable voting process and we need to start crushing the Republican Party. We shouldn't just dismiss red states as lost causes. We really need to try to fight for those people there because they deserve just as good of a life as you do.